Hello everyone and welcome to the crash course of the old band line dance called Vale. If you're here, it either means you're on my wedding website trying to learn the Vale ahead of time or this video somehow became popular. I personally have not been able to find a detailed video on the internet of how to learn Vale. It looks complicated, it's not, but it just takes a little bit of focus, I guess, and a little bit of practice to learn. Um, a few disclaimers before we start. I am not a dancer zero background in dancing, so please don't come at me for not using the right techniques or the right terms. I'm just a fellow enthusiast trying to teach everybody else how to dance ballet, especially my wedding guests. Everyone has a different style for dancing ballet. Some people will kick a whole lot, some people will just glide more smoothly. I'm here to tell you that it doesn't really matter. All you gotta do is learn the pattern and make sure that your feet are just, you know, generally, generally in the same direction as everyone else, you kind of sync. Um, once you learn it, you can dance ballet with as much flair as you like. And finally, I'm doing this in English because this is intended for my non-Albanian wedding guests as well as to spread our beautiful culture. Sounds like I've become one of those recipe bloggers. Whoa, where's the jump to the recipe button? Right here. All right, let's get to it. So there are eight steps in um, the pattern and then you repeat those over and over again to humidity because you need to get up. I'm not gonna sit down, it's not much fun. Um, <laughs> but eight steps, kind of two phases, four steps each. First four steps, the left leg is the star. The second four steps, the right leg is the star. And then you keep repeating those steps, okay? I will do it slowly at first, so we just kind of learn those steps a few times, and then maybe we can go a little faster. Maybe we can add some music, okay? How does that sound? Good? Cool. Um, just out of the way real quick. I'll just turn it this way. All right. What was it? So I am going to name the leg. I'm not really sure how the video mirrors. How you see it? But I'm going to name the leg first, and you just follow along in your head for now, and then maybe we can add some leg work. Okay. We always start with the left leg. And we always go in a counterclockwise direction. It's a circle. Now, when I say it's a line, there is a head person, the person that's leading the line, and there's another person in the tail. Um, so that line is always going to go counterclockwise. Okay? So always start, lead with the left leg. Um, okay, there's no way out of through, so let's just get started. Okay. One, two, three, four. Five, six, seven, eight. Left over right step. Left over right kick. Right land. Left rock. Right step. Left kick. Yeah? All right, let's try this again. <clears throat> Stay with me. Oh, and by the way, when I Say over and kind of step, you're always moving in like this, like a kind of a three-dimensional move. You're moving forward, backwards, but you're also moving kind of to the side. So you whatever you do, you're always moving to the side because you always gotta keep the line going. Okay? Alright, let's try this again. <clears throat> left over right step, left over right kick. End of the first four steps. Now the right leg comes to start. Look in the air. Right, land, left, rock, backwards. Right, step, left, kick. So, remember how we start? We start with the left leg on the side, over on the side. We'll do that again. Left, over, right, step. Left, over, right, kick. Right, land, left, rock. Right, step, left, kick. Left, over, right, step. Left, over, right, kick. Right, land, left, step. Right, step, left, kick. Okay? One more time. Maybe a little faster. Let's try that. 
left over right step, left over right kick, right land, left drop, left right over left kick. Got it? One more time. Left over right step, left over right kick, right land, left drop, right step, left kick. Should we go a little bit faster? Maybe I'll number them this time. <clears throat> so you can kind of get rid of them. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I'm sorry about my apartment space. I know it's very small. This is the best I could do. Please bear with me. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Are we ready for some music or no? Let's try it, shall we? Okay, can I do that? More traditional ballet song, here we go. Four, three, two, one. watching. I'm making back with more disclaimers. Until then, thank you and happy dancing. Okay, I'm back. That was quick. Um, I realized that some of my, I went back and watched the video and I realized that my footwork is not graceful at all. <laughs> so uh, I'm going to redeem myself a little bit, but just, just a disclaimer. I'm trying to you know, just a peek here. This is not how I would dance it, even though it has been quite some time, to be honest with you. Um, okay, so <laughs> I'm gonna try this again. Um, I would hope, I'm hoping that, oh, sorry. I'm hoping that you've uh, been practicing a little bit when you go slow. Um, so it's okay if I just go straight into it. Um, this is, this song is slow enough. You will not hear a slower ballet song more than likely. But then I'll put another faster one so you get better a better idea um, what it's actually gonna look like in the real thing. Okay, I'll try this again. <laughs>
rhythm looks like. <clears throat> Ready? Four, three, two, one. said some of the things you'll just be able to pick up on the go. I do have a tendency to jump and kick a lot. Not very graceful. Hopefully you'll have a very large wedding dress and nobody's going to see that. Or maybe I'll just pick up some manners by then. But my point being, don't be intimidated. Just, um, just look at what everyone else is doing. And honestly, as long as you're kind of moving like side to side and, you know, just moving your feet a little bit and same rhythm as everyone else, it'll be fine. A lot, you know, you'd be surprised when you dance, I'll actually know how you dance it, just because I don't dance so much. So, okay. I have disclaimers. Um, there are many different kinds of ballet. If I'm being honest with you, I don't even know some of the other patterns, don't tell anyone. But the important thing is that you just watch others. There's always gonna be like a group of volunteers that are gonna go out there first and they're gonna start it. So if you just watch others, it just takes a few tries and you can pick it up pretty quickly. Um, what about there? Oh yeah, um, stages are pretty large, but so are the amounts of people. So sometimes there's gonna be like large poles that'll divide up the room or wherever you may be. So what happens is <laughs> the line goes so long, it just kind of snakes around like, like in the game. So <clears throat> you'll see the line going like, this way, you know, and then they'll decide to like turn this way and then turn again and then don't be surprised if the snake eats its own body and just like goes through the next line because people will just find a way to, you know, get through spaces. Don't lose your footing. If you lose your footing, it's totally fine. You can pick it back up. Don't be scared if that happens. Nobody's going to be looking at your feet. Okay? That's all I got for now. Maybe I'll be back. Maybe I won't. Go ahead and enjoy. Okay, so I went on a walk, cleared my head, and I had a few more uh, epiphanies and a few more thoughts to share. There is sort of a rhyme and reason to how the line is structured. Um, when 
a group gets up to dance, they don't really discuss among themselves who leads, but an, <laughs> an alpha always emerges and kind of, you know, takes up the leading of the dance. And what will usually happen is that person will lead for a little bit, for maybe a few minutes, and then they'll either, if they're you know, selfless enough, they will either uh, give up the coveted position of the lead and break off the line and either go towards the middle and you know, just break apart the line and just insert themselves and hold hands wherever they went and um, continue and then whoever was second in line will now lead or they will go towards the end of the line at the very back. So that's usually not the least fun position to be in. If you want to make it fun, you can definitely make it fun. Just jazz it up, but uh, that's what the lead would normally do. If it looks like the lead is not given up their position for a really long time, maybe someone else can take it up. Uh, someone might break off in the middle of the line and go to the front, or someone from, you know, whoever's sitting down, that could happen too. So those are, um, this is like the how we structure, you know, how the line leads, kind of. And one more thing, um, I don't know how other people do it, this has been my experience, but because there's usually, um, there's usually a host or an MC that kind of directs the wedding, we have this tradition which personally I quite like, you, when you, when you open up the wedding to dance, you will call upon different groups in a certain hierarchy. So what normally happens is, I honestly cannot remember if the bride and groom started dancing first, I think they might have a first dance, but when you start the line dancing, um, it's usually the immediate family. So the immediate family will get up first. Parents, siblings, um, might be just a few of them, but they will start the line dance and then I think eventually, kind of like a few minutes later, anybody can join, but they get the stage for a little time. And then maybe the next group that gets called on, so the MC will say, uh, now it is the turn of the uncles. Um, and so, you know, the maternal uncles maybe will get up and then they will um, take over the stage. And then again, a few minutes later, maybe other people will join, will become a big line again. And then when the song ends, that group sits down and then another group starts. I don't know if this is how I'll do it or not. I, like I said, I personally quite like the idea. It's cute, it's traditional. I have to ask another a bunch of things, but I'll get back to you on that. I think I'm out. Just things to say. This has been long enough already, I think. So, thank you for tuning in, and you Yomshin Komet, and happy dancing. Enjoy your wallet. <laughs>